Welcome to the official YouTube, Night News Channel. Zoom soars past revenue, guidance estimates in first report since IPO. Zoom soared more than 21% Friday after beating revenue estimates in its first quarterly earnings report since its IPO and guiding well above analyst expectations for its full fiscal year. The rally added more than $4 billion to its market cap, which now tops $24 billion. Zoom reported revenue of $122.0 million for its first quarter of 2020, while analysts were expecting $111.7 million, according to Refintiv. It guided earnings per share of $0.02 cents to $0.03 cents for the full fiscal year, excluding certain items, with revenue between $535 million and $540 million. Analysts had been expecting a loss of $0.03 cents per share, excluding certain items, and revenue of $520.3 million, according to Refinitiv. Zoom reported $0.03 cents per share in earnings for the first quarter, excluding certain items. CNBC does not compare earnings against estimates for the first quarter report after an IPO. Crank those models up, Stiffel analysts wrote in a note following the report, saying Zoom's high guidance reflects strong ongoing momentum for the business, while continuing to take a very conservative approach around the recent launch of Zoom Phone by not including any material impact for the year in the outlook. The firm has a hold rating on the stock, reflecting valuation concerns but raised its price target to $80 per share to reflect higher estimates. KeyBank Capital Markets maintained a sector weight rating on the stock, saying it believes shares are fully valued. The firm raised its revenue estimates for the full fiscal year and placed a price target of $79.43 on the stock. Bulls will point to both record customer ads as well as strong average revenue per user, ARPU expansion. 6% Y slash Y to $8.93,000 to show that Zoom is becoming increasingly relevant to both new and existing customers, KeyBank analysts wrote in a note following the report. Bears will point to the slowing existing customer expansion, 36% versus 56% in FY19, and argue the installed base spend is reaching saturation if Zoom phone doesn't ramp. Analysts still seem dazzled by Zoom's metrics. The company stood out from the rest of its tech IPO class in achieving profitability before going public in April. That helped the stock soar 72% on its first day of trading. JMP analysts raved in their post earnings analysis that Zoom has some of the best financial metrics we have seen in the software world. CNBC's Jordan Novet contributed to this report. Subscribe to CNBC on YouTube. Watch CNBC's full interview with Zoom CEO Eric Yuen. Thank you for watching.